Hey, what's up everyone? This is Brandon Bias from ChichiCheckIt.com and welcome to another Tutorial Tuesday. As most of you may know, uh, Facebook went ahead and updated their profile layout once again with something called Timeline. And most of you already know what Timeline is like because, well, they forced it on basically every single user in the world. So I'm guessing that most of you have an idea of how ridiculously annoying and inconvenient it is to have to have this Timeline. But one thing that came with Timeline that's actually a really cool addition would be the banner. And the reason I like the banner is that it just kind of gives you a way to, um, I don't know, just to give a message or to represent yourself or, I don't know, any silly reason like that. But one of the questions that a lot of people have is how do you combine the banner and your profile picture to make it look like they're all one image? And after some tinkering around in Photoshop, I actually came up with two different templates that you can use to make this nice and easy. So I have uh, a template for pages and I have a template for profiles because they are slightly different in terms of or like where the, the profile picture goes. But the, the two templates together make it really easy to make a banner and a profile picture look like they're one image. Now both of these are going to be free for download, so I'll go ahead and give you a link in the description, so go ahead and check that out to go ahead and download these. And once you've got these downloaded, just go ahead and double click which one you want to use. For this little demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and use the profiles version, because let's face it, most of us have profiles and not a fan page. Let's get rid of those rules real quick. Okay, so when you open up the template, this is what you should see. And basically what it is, is a literal representation of what Facebook is going to look like if it didn't have a, a banner or a profile picture already. Now the point of this is to basically design your banner and profile picture at the same time and see what it's going to look like when you upload it onto Facebook. And these, uh, these guides that you see that are going left and right and uh, up and down are here to help you like in the cropping later on. But for the time being, you don't really need to worry about those. So we'll go ahead and actually hide those by hitting Control H or Command H if you happen to be on a Mac. Now, this tutorial isn't to teach you how to make a cool banner or anything like that. It's just to show you how to combine the banner and the profile picture into one thing. So, in terms of coming up with a really cool banner, I'm going to leave that up to you because there are really hundreds of thousands of ways to make a really cool banner. So, I'm, I'm not even going to touch that. I'm just going to show you how to combine the two images together. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and bring in the picture that I know I want to use as my, uh, as my profile picture. And I'll go ahead and click and drag this into our document over here. And so everything that you do should be directly below this extras group right here. Because the extras represent the little uh, snippets and bits of the Facebook profile itself. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly resize this image to make it look like it's going to fit directly into the profile picture section right there. And I'll just nudge it over somewhere around right here. All right. So now that I've got my profile picture where I want it to be, I'm going to go ahead and customize everything else to make it look like a somewhat interesting banner. So I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward this part real quick. Upon first glance may look like a dance, but then you realize I got girls in my pants. I'm a cute boy, I'm straight romance. That's why I take my girls all the way to France. I'm a straight shooter with my three-point stance And then I pull them in with my dance trance I walk down the street with my swag of prance To enhance my chance of having girls in my pants Inside of my pants Alright, so I just went ahead and really quickly made a, a cheesy yet <laughs> somewhat interesting little banner there And so now we're ready to uh, save and crop all this so we can upload it up to Facebook so once everything is designed and you know you're ready to crop and all that, select whatever layer happens to be right below the extras group and go ahead and turn off those extras right there and then merge everything into one layer by hitting the shortcut Control alt shift e That would be Command-Option-Shift-E if you happen to be on a Mac. And so that will just go ahead and merge everything into one new flattened layer. And the reason we're doing that is just in case you happen to have any... Um, any effects on layers like drop shadows or bevels or anything like that because when you crop something that's like in a corner or something like that and it has a bevel on it it changes the bevel because well you cropped it so by doing this we're merging everything down into one layer 
And so the pixels are going to stay exactly as they are no matter how we crop it. And that way everything looks exactly as we designed it. So now if you go ahead and turn back uh, or turn on those extras over there and bring back those rulers by hitting Control H or Command H again if you happen to be on a Mac, you'll see that we got these guides here to help us with the whole cropping process. So what you'll just have to do is grab your rectangular marquee tool and let's just go ahead and start off with the banner. So we'll click in the upper left hand corner and drag down into the right. And you'll see that when you go to this white bar, the, the marquee actually snaps to it because of that guide there. So now we got a perfect crop around the banner. And so we'll just go ahead and turn off the extras group and we'll go to image crop. And then we'll do a file, save as. And we'll just go ahead and call this, uh, I don't know, banner, just to call it, uh, you know, just keep things simple. And we'll just save this as a JPEG and save that. And with a quality of 10, which should be pretty good, we'll hit OK. And then we'll go back two steps by hitting Control alt z and Control alt z again. That would be Command-Option-Z uh, Z if you happen to be on a Mac. And so this time around, we'll go ahead and turn back the extras on. And now we'll go ahead and make the marque around the profile picture. So click and drag in the upper left-hand corner of the picture and down and to the right. And thankfully, those guys will help you with that as well. And so once again, we'll turn off the extras and we'll go to Image Crop. And then we'll do the Control Shift S or Command Shift S to do a Save As. We'll just call this Profile Picture. And we'll save that as a JPEG. And we'll save that. And then once again, you can do a Control Alt Z and Control Alt Z again to undo that. And so there you go. You've already finished uh, saving and cropping your banner and your profile picture. But something that you need to keep in mind with the profile picture is that this section right here is 160 pixels by 160 pixels and Facebook requires a minimum of 180 pixels by 180 pixels. So we, we need to size up this little picture right here in order to you know, meet those minimum requirements. So the way we're going to do that is by opening up the, um, the picture that we just saved. So here we go, we got the profile picture that I just saved a few seconds ago. And we'll just click and drag this back into Photoshop. And it saved the guides, but you don't really have to worry about those because they don't show up in the picture. And we're going to go to Image. We'll go to Image Size. And we'll just do 180 by 180. And hit OK. And that will scale it up for us. And then just do a File Save. And that will overwrite the picture that you just used. So just to go back and prove it. So I'll click on the profile picture and hover over it. And you see it, we got 180 by 180. So now we're set to go. And you can go ahead and bring up Facebook. And if you hover over your profile picture, you can just click Edit Profile Picture, Upload Photo. And then you just go ahead and go navigate to that particular uh, photo that you just saved. I'm trying to remember where I put it. Oh, that's right. Put it in Facebook, Facebook Templates. And there we go. So I would upload that profile picture but I'm not going to bother with that because I like how I have things as they are. And of course, you do the same thing with the change cover photo. Just change cover photo, upload photo, and then you just go select that photo and upload it and just hit OK without, um, without doing any edits here in Facebook. So that's all there is to combining your Facebook profile picture and your banner into one image. So hopefully you guys found this tutorial uh, really useful and really handy in one way or another. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. And if you really enjoyed this and you think it's something worth sharing, please like the video and share it with your friends. Uh, maybe they can do it too. Or heck, maybe your friends can even bug you about <laughs> making their banner and profile picture into one thing. All in all, uh, I really enjoyed this tutorial. Hope it turned out pretty good. Just let me know how you like it. And I will go ahead and see you guys next Tuesday. Peace out.